What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I bring you this super clean Oryx run on that hard mode challenge mode. Now I'll quickly explain what's going on here as I do believe this is the easiest way to defeat Oryx, not just for that challenge mode but in general. Okay so to start you need two titans. If this ain't the case then you need to mix up amongst yourselves as everybody nowadays has one of each character. Now the fire team of six is split into three groups, one runner, two titans and three platform holders or activators. It's important to figure out who is doing what before you start. Now this is what each person's role is. The runner is obviously the runner. The platform holders need to be given a number one, two and three. The platform holder with the number one jumps on the first platform with the runner. The platform holder with the number two, that was me in this video, you go counterclockwise or left of platform holder one. And platform holder three goes counterclockwise or left to platform holder two. No matter what first platform Oryx decides to go to, the platform holders need to stick to their order number. Now the two titans need to be using their ward of dawns. One needs to have blessing of light and the other one needs to have weapons of light. After the first initial set of adds, the two titans need to jump up top to the death singers platforms. And depending on what side Oryx chooses, so if Oryx chooses left, they need to jump on the right sided platform. Always going on the opposite side from Oryx. Once on the designated platform, both Titans need to drop their Titan bubbles and they need to place them as centre as possible on the platform. So once you've figured out what everybody's doing, this is what happens. The platform holders on their platforms go as far back as possible without falling off and crouch. You don't have to worry about anything except for that knight which spawns on the other side. It's your job on the platform to kill that knight. Once that is done, you wait until the runner states he has the relic and then, only then, you jump up to the Death Singer platform and go inside the bubble and help take out any remaining knights. Do not worry about shooting ads at this point. Now the titans up top, with their bubbles, will take out every ogre as they spawn, preferably using the touch of malice but any high powered weapon is good here. The titans up top take out every ogre in the exact spot as they spawn as these ogres do get melted before they've even moved. Remember also the ogres spawn in order with the platforms activated just so you know where to look and focus your fire. Now that the titans and platform holders know what they're doing and their job, now you wait until the relic holder has done his job of slamming and killing the vessel. Swords are great for doing this. Once done he comes in between the two Death Singer platforms, obviously on the ground, and tells everybody to jump down into the aura of immortality. Here you can take care of adds until Oryx's chest opens up, but if there is no time to do it, don't worry about the adds. Remember Oryx slams, then opens his chest, which is a good indicator. Once his chest does open, the whole team needs to concentrate on shooting Oryx, so he gets stunned. Once you do stun Oryx, instead of running to activate the orbs dropped by the death of the ogres, you stay inside the aura and take out as many adds as possible. Remember, only the orbs do damage to Oryx and for you to complete this challenge, 16 orbs need to be activated at the same time. When you don't activate an orb, Oryx teleports you and he teleports you one at a time to face off against the Shade of Oryx. There is a limited time to kill the Shade, so once everybody has been teleported, you need to do as much damage as possible. A lot of the time though, the Shade of Oryx is dead before all 6 people are teleported. Now once the Shade is dead, you will be teleported out and you need to run this process again. You need 4 perfect runs, so that's 3 teleports and fights against the Shade. Once you finish the 3rd fight against the Shade of Oryx, it's then the final run. Do everything the exact same, but this time when it comes to shooting Oryx in his chest and stunning him, the platform runners and one titan need to activate 4 orbs each. Now because these ogres were being killed in the exact same spots as they spawned, that's where the orbs will be and there will be four orbs where each one spawned. So one titan along with three platform runners need to activate four orbs each, basically each running to a spot where the ogres spawned. What we did was the platform runners activate the orbs next to the last platform they activated while the titan took care of the orbs next to the fourth platform. Remember here though guys, timing is key. So you want to activate them close to the same time. So a countdown by the second titan or the relic holder is great here. 
and then it's basically done. Oryx then appears in his original spot and then all you gotta do is basically stun him by shooting him in his chest again and he is defeated and the loot is yours it's as simple as that. Now I know many of you guys don't need a guide on how to do this but I know some people do as I'm getting plenty of tweets and messages from people struggling. Yes this is probably the hardest challenge yet but when you get it down it's so so easy it's unbelievable. I mean I think we wiped about three times on my first run this week but on my second and third character I do believe we did it straight away. So once you do get it down it's simple and to be honest this is the easiest way to do oryx not just for challenge mode but for any mode but guys i hope you enjoyed the video do drop a like i do appreciate the support subscribe for that daily destiny and i'll catch you guys on that next one peace out until next time peace
We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.